Hey guys, so Apple has now officially released today iOS 18 beta 2. Yes, can you believe the second beta for iOS 18 is already out? You can now download it to your device if you're running iOS 18 beta 1. You can now update to beta 2. Now Apple mentions that this beta was going to become available today on June 24th and here it is right on time. And there's two major new features happening here. We have iPhone mirroring to Mac OS and we have the SharePlay screen sharing feature which obviously we'll talk about here in just a few seconds, but there's also some changes happening within the home screen. We also have some lock screen changes and changes around the OS that I wanted to talk about in today's video. Now there's also new updates for the iPad. So iPad OS 18 beta 2 is now available. We also have Mac OS 15 beta 2 for the Mac. TVOS 18 Beta 2 for the Apple TV. If you have a Vision Pro, Vision OS 2 Beta 2 is now available. And Apple Watch, Watch OS 11 Beta 2 is now available for the Apple Watch. Now, the latest beta for iOS 18 Beta 2 came in at approximately 1.44 gigs. So nearly one and a half gigs here for the second beta, which is a hefty, hefty download. As we go into the About section here in Settings, we go into the iOS 18 version. There is the latest build number with iOS 18 beta 2, 22A5297. F. Now, obviously, iOS 18 still has plenty of betas to go. This software will not be available to the general public until perhaps mid to late September with the releases of the new iPhones. Now, on this iPhone here, I have beta 1 running on this iPhone 15 Pro Max, and on this one, I have beta 2. So let's talk about some of the latest new features and changes within the latest iOS 18. So the first thing I want to talk about is the actual lock screen. There's some changes happening here. So if we long press here and we go into customizing here let's go into the lock screen options when you go to add a shortcut to your extensions down here and you tap on the plus icon you see that the menu now takes up basically the entire display or about 90 percent of your display when on beta one it was only about three quarters of the way up as you can see right there i think i prefer beta one's layout versus beta two but as you can see right there we do have those changes happening here within the latest beta now if we scroll down there's also a new new category here that Apple has added. So if we scroll down here, you see that we now have a new notes option for those extension there on the lock screen of your iPhone. So minor changes happening here to the lock screen of iPhone with iOS 18 beta 2. But nonetheless, there's some changes here within the latest beta. Now there's also some changes happening here within the home screen of iOS 18 beta 2. The first thing I wanna talk about is Apple fixed the bug where the app store icon would not switch into a dark mode when you change your icons into dark mode. So here's an example here in beta one, I have all my icons in dark mode, but the app store remained blue. Take a look in beta two, we now have an actual dark mode app store icon, something minor but something that Apple has fixed here. Now, if we go into customizing here and we go into click edit, you see that the customizing icon glyph has changed a little bit here as well. So if we click here in beta one, you see there that the glyph is slightly different in beta two right there, as you can see for customizing. Now, Apple has also added a new widget within iOS 18 beta two. So if we search for photo widget, we now have a new photo widget available. You see there for featured photos, we have the small, we have a medium size, we have a large size widget, and we also have albums. So we have albums as small, medium, and large as well. So yeah, Apple has definitely added some changes to widgets, fixing some bugs here within the home screen of iPhone with the latest beta as well. And they also fixed an issue with Control Center. Now in Control Center with iOS 18 beta one, if you tap the power off button by accident, it will bring you to the power off menu, which was very annoying because oftentimes I found myself tapping on that button. Now in the second beta, the behavior is slightly changed here. So we no longer need to tap. We have to long press for about a second and then your iPhone will take you into the power off menu. Thank God, because I was tapping that button by accident so many times and now you have to long press in order to actually power off your device for the new shortcut there in Control Center, which is a welcome change. Now, one of the biggest changes coming to messages on iPhone this year is RCS support. This will allow iPhone users to have a better, richer communication experience via messages with other platforms like Android. And Apple seems to be already working on this. So if we go into settings here, we scroll all the way to the bottom, go into apps, and then we scroll into the messages extension here. We find that if we go into messages and scroll halfway through, 
we have RCS and messaging, and we have a toggle here. Now, I've been testing this over the past 30 minutes or so with Android users, but I still don't see some of these features enabled here for RCS. Obviously, this is beta 2, but RCS support will be coming to the iPhone with iOS 18 as we see the first glance of it within the second beta. Obviously, this will enable a ton of new experiences like better photo quality, better video quality, perhaps typing indicators, red receipts, and so much more between iPhone and Android users. So RCS support, the first glance of that here within iOS 18 beta 2. Now, Apple mentioned two new features coming to iOS 18 beta 2. Number one, the iPhone mirroring to Mac OS, which I'm going to talk about now, and the screen sharing for SharePlay within iOS 18 beta 2. So let's take a look here at iPhone mirroring. So if you go into settings, general, head on over into AirPlay and continuity right here, you now have the iPhone mirroring option right there. Now, interestingly enough, you also get an Apple Watch option right there. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to mirror to your Apple Watch as well, which is kind of interesting. But you see there that I have the MacBook Pro as well that's sitting on my desk. And obviously this will allow you to mirror your iPhone directly to your desktop, to your Mac, and you'll get your notifications. You can control your iPhone using your trackpad or mouse, and you can interact with your notifications, open apps, scroll through the software. It is a really neat new feature built into Mac OS and iOS 18, and it's now here with iOS 18 Beta 2. Keep in mind that this allows you to keep your iPhone in your pocket in a bag somewhere around your house, and you can still interact with your iPhone directly from the home screen of your Mac, which is a welcome addition. Now, another new change, as I mentioned, that Apple brought to iOS 18 Beta 2 is a new addition to SharePlay, which allows you to screen share and control the screen remote access someone else's display. So let me go ahead and try to demo that here for you guys real quick. So with iOS 18, not only do you have the ability to share your display, but you also have the ability to remote access someone else's display as well. And let me show you how this works. So screen sharing plus remote access. Let's initiate here the FaceTime call and let's go ahead and reply here on this other iPhone, just like that. Okay, so now we're on FaceTime, and what you're looking at, obviously, is the camera above here, capturing the footage, and if I tap on right here the share play options, we have share my screen, which I can share my iPhone screen with this other device, or ask to share my screen with another device. So share my screen, this allows me to share my screen with this iPhone here on the right. As you can see right there, I can tap here, and I can see everything happening on this iPhone in this little bubble right there so you see that once I'm sharing my screen I have this options down here that allows me to make it larger or smaller as you can see right there so this is this iPhone screen on this device and I can also choose to remote access this device so if I click here and I click allow this allows me to control this iPhone using this iPhone on the right which is very interesting now I can't get it to work properly it is still kind of buggy obviously because this iPhone is running beta 1 versus beta 2 but once you click allow you basically have access to control someone else's iPhone using your very own very useful for tutorials so if you want to share something or show someone how to do something you can have remote access or request remote access to someone else's device while on a FaceTime call and that way you can actually show them how to do something on their iPhone or help them customize their device whatever it is that you're looking to do you now have so many options because SharePlay has expanded uh, beyond uh, that ability to share your display now you have those remote access options available within iOS 18 beta 2 as you can see right there and there you guys have it that is everything so far that I've noticed is new two major features iPhone mirroring to Mac OS and obviously the expansion of SharePlay with remote access and screen sharing for SharePlay. That is a mouthful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and obviously stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.